Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And remember guys, this is for adults. Guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos. What's up, you guys? This is that Jack Danberg with another Every McFarlane Toys video. This time I'm talking about the DC Direct Page Punchers 7 inch scale figures. I put out a video on their 3 inch figures a while back with Wave 1 having 4 figures. And now check this out, we got a page punchers of 7 inch scale figures that come with a exclusive comic to this particular line. So pretty cool. Let's check it out what McFarlane has for us. Alright, so here's the preview for wave 4 of the 7 inch page punchers. This is Batman centric and specifically a comic made just for page punchers called Fighting the Frozen Wave. And you can see Batman there up front looking like a bat. You see Batgirl on the side left and Robin on the side right. <clears throat> and then in the background you see a Mr. Freeze figure that we'll be getting. Alright, so here we go with Wave 4, Batman fighting the Frozen. DC Direct, Page Punchers, you can see four new figures, Batman based. Here's Batman with his crazy looking caveman look here. Got the axe. Package from all angles, plastic packaging there. One comic book in each, but the covers are different. So it's Batman's cover, two axes there. Figure from all angles, you can see that crazy looking cape with the fur everywhere on the boots, the top of the cape, the waist, spikes on the arms. A close shot, you got a Batman symbol on his chest there, carved out in stone. There's the card, the base. You have Robin here as well, with the mohawk. Packaging, all angles. He's got a spear, which is double sided spear. A knife in his belt there as well. Again, there is his cover, still the same exact comic inside. Wielding the knife there. We see the card, the base as well for him. Orange baggy pants, barefoot. Got a symbol on his chest of a Robin, I guess, maybe. I'm not sure, you can't tell. You got your Batgirl here. Package from all angles. Two axes for her, her comic book cover as well. You see she got spikes on her wrist as well, the cape. She has a grapple hook there that's black this time. You see her ponytail from the back side, the cape with the stitching in it, that's awesome looking. Then you have your Mr. Freeze here. Big old figure. Very interesting design packaging there. His cover. Comes with this freeze gun that attaches to his back. You can see it on the sides. And the back side there showing good details of what that thing looks like. So there's all your basic figures. And we have a gold label. Sketch edition here of Mr. Freeze. Same exact accessories. All angles here. In the packaging, you see gold label on there. It was a McFarlane Toy Store exclusive from San Diego Comic Con. You have a platinum edition here. This one's very interesting. You see the grapple hook this time is brown. I'll show you an example here of the comparison between the two in a minute. Same accessories. Comic book is the same. Yeah, she got some tattoos all over. I gotta check and see if this were on the other one. Again with the ponytail. Packaging here. Interesting part about this platinum is it doesn't say platinum on the packaging. So your regular release with the black is on the left. Your platinum release is on the right here with more of a blue look to her. A lot more bright gold. And again, I think she has tattoos here where she didn't on the first. Yeah. The eyes on the mask are a lot bigger as well. And like I said, the grapple hook is a different color. Here's Wave 4 Loose with the comics.
There's way four in package. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave any kind of comments. Hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos that I have. Subscribe to the channel if you Hit that thumbs up. And guys, let me know what y'all think about these page punchers. Is this exciting? The fact that we're getting something with such a lower price point for a three and three quarter inch figure. Would you rather have something that's a little bit more articulation than just the six points of articulation here, like the knees and the elbows uh, to bend as well? My opinion, I would love to see that, but this does bring nostalgia to some people for their old Star Wars figures. Let me know, guys. Talk to you later. Hey guys, don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. You can find all the photos that you want of these videos.